seats for the spectacular were the fastest selling in the history of Irish theatre. Originally scheduled to run for 20 performances, an extra seven were added to the run, and these were sold out within a day of the announcement. And the show looks set to go abroad. Inquiries are coming in from the United States, Europe, and Japan. Well, we have a number of eminent producers and promoters from abroad coming over to see the show. We have had good offers, but we're just going to sit back and wait and see what happens after the curtain goes up. As well as Irish influences, such as Anuna, the show includes choral and dance sequences from other countries. Bill Whelan wrote the music for the original River Dance, anxious now that he won't surpass that. A bit. <laughs> A bit, but uh, I mean, we have so many different things uh, in, in so many different elements in the show. I think it was it was great to be able to work with uh, international artists, you know, Russian dancers, Spanish dancers, uh, gospel choir. Um, it remains to be seen how people will respond to it. The show has a cast and production crew of 150, including leading traditional and contemporary musicians. For the dancers, it's the culmination of morning, noon and night rehearsal. For the last uh, three months, I've been working, uh, you know, 9 a.m. till 11 p.m. and uh, just, I love every minute of it. I can't tell you the thrill uh, for me dancing with these 30 Irish dancers. They're the best in the world and I think we're going to show, uh, we're going to show the world some stuff tonight. I really feel uh, confident. a uh, bit out there, Planet Zog, <laughs> to be honest. Um, just looking forward to the event, but can't really get my head around it yet. It's a big night. It's a big night, yeah. <laughs>